well worth cheering this season is the resilience of those small and medium-sized businesses who, despite the challenges, have helped keep the economy going and people employed. Whether you find yourself in KZN or the Western Cape this festive season, Capitex Isona Ndongeni and Chandre Matlala recommend a couple of spots worth giving a visit. We are out here visiting Capitec Merchant The Bike Park to come and explore some fun Cape Town activities to do during the festive season. I'm excited, but a bit nervous. Shall we go in? Come along with us. In the six years since he opened, former South African mountain bike champ Chris Nixon has grown an outdoor family favorite of a business here in Constantia. As you come into the bike park, you can see the easier obstacles at the bottom. And then as you will sort of go up and up here towards the back, there's more difficult obstacles. So the ones right at the bottom are really for the younger kids and the ones up here are for the older kids, bigger jumps. So we've got a lot for everybody and it's the repetition of practicing it over and over again, which makes your mountain biking skills so much better. Gear, bikes and a workshop, they have the lot and most valuable of all, the top tips and trade secrets of a national champion. Balance actually comes from your steering and your handlebars, so moving it from side to side. And we're going to do a little exercise there that makes it automatic, that if you turn the wrong way, you fall over. So the idea is to program your brain that you automatically do it the right way and you don't have to think about it. And how that's going to work is we put our bike in against the wall here, and with the cranks level, the foot that's forward, we're going to push on that pedal and we're going to hold ourselves against the wall by pushing on the pedal. And then once you're doing that, when you're pushing, we're going to keep our hips still. We're not going to move my hips. We're just going to move our hands from side to side. OK, if you do this, you can see if I just do this, you can see that I'm only using my actual hands to balance. And the balance is counterintuitive, meaning that if you're going to fall over to the right, you actually need to turn to the right. It makes your body go the opposite way. This is not so bad. I think my face. I can even do it with my one hand. Woo! Yay. To the bank which took this entrepreneurial journey with Chris, the success of his youth-oriented Live Better Enterprise feels like a trophy one. With us starting off with Capitec, they've been really good to us because, I mean, I've never run a business before in the beginning. And they came out and gave us all these things on how it's going to work going forward and it just ran us through the whole process, especially if you're a new business, you kind of need that input from them and understanding and the feedback that they give us once you're up and running. They came and had a chat with us a few times just to make sure we're understanding how the process works and also integrating our online and our point of sale servicing, how it works and how it connects to their bank. They've been really great as far as that's concerned. Coming out here to chill out at the bike park, I thought it was going to be easy. They say doing a bike is as easy as walking. If you know how to do it one time, but it definitely was not that. It came with its challenges. I took a few tumbles, but here I am. And I'm only glad that I finally got to start off on my own without the help of Chris, so a victory for me. At first, when I got here, I was super excited, you know, just seeing the kids just rolling over those obstacles. I was like, okay, if they can do it, so can I. But then after I started hopping on my bike, I was like, okay, it's not that easy. But the faster you go with your bike, you get the hang of it. So now I think I can gladly say, we are pros. You've got it. You got this. Thank you, Chris. Are you ready to hit that big one? That one over there? Yeah. Um, maybe we should let Chris do it. <laughs> Another business with a recipe for prospering, whatever the weather, is Enzo Tilly's famed Trattoria in Scottsboro in KwaZulu-Natal. Enzo's is a family-run restaurant with a basic principle of giving people good quality food, bringing a bit of Italy to South Africa, and always with value for money in mind. I think I got my love for food through my mother and my dad, being a builder, built my first pizza oven. Mom was in the back kitchen making pastas, and I was in front doing the pizzas. Having a pizza done in an authentic wood-burning oven is what pizza is to us, is what we've grown up with. The smokiness, the crispiness is what my clientele enjoy, and it's what we know. Enzo's skills are such that Isona and Chandre happily crossed the country for lunch. 
What are we doing today? We're going to go over to the pizza section and we're going to go and make the most famous pizza in Italy, which is the margarita. Awesome. Nice! Sounds good. exciting. I've go. never made my own pizza before. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go. The margarita pizza is one of the simplest but most loved pizza in Italy. Three basic ingredients. Tomato, mozzarella cheese and basil, which represents the Italian colours. Oh, wow. And this is where the pizza margarita originates from. The queen, her name was Margarita. She went down to the local pizza place and asked them for a pizza that represented the Italian flag. And the pizzeria rightfully named it the Margarita. I have a bit of a challenge. Oh, wow. oh okay. Love a challenge. Let's see who can actually lift one of these and put them in the oven. Okay. okay I'm going to pick a little bit of flour. Watch. Ooh. Okay. Is it my turn? turn? It is your turn. Okay. A little bit of flour. Add a little bit of flour. Whoa. Okay. A little bit of pressure. This up. A okay. little bit of pressure down here. Okay. Okay. And then go for it. Whoa! Well done! Yay! Well done! <laughs> Now you can call me a pizza chef. Enzo started his business straight out of school and through years of some of the finest margaritas and Regina's in Scottborough, one bank has been there. I heard about Capitec when I moved down to Natal. They always check up on us, always making sure we've got tour roles. When we need help, they're there for us. Impeccable, really great service. The end result of my pizza, I think it was Perfection. I think I should definitely maybe change my title to Chef Asona. <laughs> it was really divine and nice and tasty. I could literally just taste all the flavors coming out. Enzo is as a Capitec merchant who started out so many years ago as a much smaller shop and has expanded into something that the neighborhood just loves. I mean, what is better than sharing a authentically Italian pizza this festive season amongst family and friends. Now you stand a chance of winning a 1,000 Rand Live Better cash prize to spend on the festive holiday adventure, lunch, dinner, gift or experience of your choice. Simply reply to the competition post on the insidersa.co.za social media platforms using hashtag live better. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website.